All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I wanted to come on this morning so that I could share some important information with you. Very briefly, I need to announce that today, uh, Moretta Mouton, she will be, I will be doing a pop-up interview with her and Tralicia Long. Um, they will be on at three o'clock, three o'clock this afternoon because they have a pop-up at uh, Comfort Inn in, in Webster, Texas uh, on next Saturday um, before Valentine's Day. And uh, I'm going to be interviewing them and they'll be sharing with us regarding the vendors that they have um, as well as... Um, some other things they're going to be doing at this pop-up. Um, and again, that's going to be at 3 o'clock today on my YouTube channel. Um, my podcast, Electra James Inspirational Talks. I'm going to post um, today how to get to that uh, my YouTube channel so that you can listen to this podcast. And, and listen, people, I'm asking you guys to please share this information to your page. Um, there's a lot of things going on in our community and around our county, and we just we're just not tuned in or tapped into it. It's so much that we have got to start paying attention to. Um, and you know what? It's okay to like people on Facebook, but share their stuff, share their work, share what they're doing. Not only that. Support them however you can. I don't have a large platform, but I use the platform that I have to try to support people um, in the best way that I can, you know, because it's important. Just like I want people to support me, I have an obligation to support other people. Nothing can just be about just you all the time. You have to tap in to helping and supporting other people. This is why how communities grow, when people get behind one another. So first of all, I have this three o'clock pop-up today with uh, Moretta Mouton, my daughter, and my niece, Tralicia Long. And they're going to be sharing their information on how their pop-up will take place. And and that's going to be at Comfort Inn in Webster, Texas. That's next Saturday. But I let them come on and tell their own story. Now, the next thing I'm going to talk about is so very crucial. It's very, very crucial. I need for people to start paying more attention to what's going on in, in, with voting. Okay? Um, I myself... Voting is dear to me. I, I vote. See, this is how we make a difference. Everybody, I hear people saying, we need a change. We need a change. Well, you got to be a part of that change. You got to be a part of that wanting better. You know how you do that? You got to help others who are out there doing the footwork. You vote with your feet by getting to the polls. Okay, they're going to start early voting on next week. I believe I'm going to have, listen to me closely. I need y'all to listen to me very closely. Monday, I have the interview with uh, Reverend William H. King III. He is running for Galveston County Judge. I don't know how many of you all know that, but it's important because early voting starts I believe next week. If not, I'll get that information. Okay? He's going to come on and he's going to talk on Monday on my podcast, Electra James Inspirational Talks. He's going to be on that podcast Monday, February 7th, 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. Okay? This is something really dear to his heart. This is something that he really want to do to help the people of Galveston County. He is running. For Galveston County Judge, we got to rise up out our comfortable places and get out here and get to these polls. 
We got to do it. If you won't change, you got to be a part of the change. Because to sit at home and to do nothing, you just as guilty. You just as guilty when things don't change because you're doing nothing to help them change. You got to help it change. You got to at least, uh, like Joe Madison on Sirius XM 126, always says, everybody can do something. Everybody can do something. Get behind these people that want to come out of here, to want to get in the game, to run for these positions. They need your support. Get behind these people. Reverend King is, has, I mean, he open arms, accepted my invite to the podcast for this Monday. He's coming on to share, not trying to tell you how to vote, but he's coming on to talk talk about his campaign, what he wants to do, and whatever else he's going to talk about. But guess what? If you tune in, and hopefully you do to Electra James, Inspirational Talks on YouTube, you can get in that chat section and put questions in the chat section. And hopefully, while he's on there, he can answer some of those questions that you may have about <clears throat> him as a candidate for Galveston County Judge. This is Reverend William H. King. It's on my Facebook page. Uh, and I've been advertising it starting last Thursday. You know, trying to get people to understand that, not understand, I know that people understand, but trying to get people, make people aware. It's some amazing things going on. It's some amazing things going on. It's some amazing people who are stepping up to the plate who want to make a difference, who's trying to make a difference. But guess what? We got to get, put our feet to the pavement and get to the poles. Now, it don't just stop with him. I have Maxine Jones, who is Galveston County election official. She's going to be on Wednesday, February 9th. You can also, also uh, come on to Electric James, Inspirational Talks, uh, just tune in on that YouTube channel, okay? Listen to what she's saying. Get in that chat section so you can ask questions. Look, people, democracy. We we got we got some things going on with democracy if we want to save democracy. Now, if you don't want to save democracy and you'd rather have autocracy, which you have no voice, then just stay at home. But if you want democracy to continue in the manner in which the United States, United States of America operates, you've got to get out here and vote. You've got to pay attention to midterms, state election, local election, a, a federal election. It's not just the president election that you need to get to the polls. You got to get when you get registered, that's that you can vote so that you can continue to vote. Look, people, people died for us to vote. They died for us to vote. And I know sometimes, like Joe Madison always say, we'll see somebody put a picture, get 200, 300 likes. You start talking about something like democracy. You start talking about things that's going to change the lives of yourself and your children and your grandchildren. Then nobody wants to pay attention to that. Listen, people, we're in a serious time. We are at a serious point in life. It's time out for just sitting back and, and taking life just as usual. We're not going back to normal. We're not going back to what we saw once was normal. We got to get in the game. We got to put our feet on the ground. And we got to do those things that's important. Supporting people. Support, support, support. I can't say it enough. We have got to start supporting in these elections. And I'm not just saying, oh, just go out there and just vote somebody. Read up on that candidate. See what that candidate is talking about. See what that candidate want to do. And then once you get the candidate in the office, hold them to the to the fire, hold their feet to the fire and have them, you made this promise. We're going to hold your feet to the fire or this going to be your last time sitting in that seat. See, we put people in seats and then we don't hold them to the fire. And then they do things that don't help us, but we go right back out there, put them back in the office. That's why people stay in these offices until they die. 
Until they get so old that they can't do anything. Put people in, I don't care, age, look, age is not a factor for me as long as the person is doing something to help the people, to help the constituents in the states where they are, in the counties where they are. Okay, we, we got to stop this stuff. Oh, I just like so-and-so. I don't know. They said something good. That's it. Hold people to the fire. They want you to do that. But when you don't do that, they just do whatever they want to do. So not only Maxine Jones will not just come on just to come on. She has asked me that if anybody have any questions, you can send those questions to me. I will get those questions to her because she want to address Everything at Galveston County election official, she wants to address them on next Wednesday night, 6.30 to 7.30. Come on, get in that chat section and ask some questions about voting. Because if you're like me, I don't know a whole, it's a whole lot of stuff I don't know. And I, and I know that she has been doing this for like about 30, over 30 years. I mean, this is somebody who are, is knowledgeable about, knowledgeable about this issue of voting. Come on, people. Let's we talk about what's not happening, but we don't talk about what is happening because we don't know about it because we're not paying attention. Then the following week, next that following Wednesday, um, I believe that's the 16th. I'm going to be having Commissioner Holmes on. Um, he's going to be on my podcast, Electra James Inspirational Talks. Okay. YouTube channel. Go to that YouTube channel. You can look at the different interviews on there. But what I'm talking about is if you just go to the channel, uh, uh, just tune in. It's a live interview. It's not pre-recorded. It's a live. They're going to be live interviews. And these people are going to be sharing a wealth of information that we all can use. So I'm just, I'm just asking you to please Please step up to the plate. Find those your, your voting your cards to go vote. Know what you have, what you need uh, 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 to, to to vote with. Uh, she's even gonna uh, mention uh, uh, mail in voting. She, she, I've already asked her about that. I've asked her about when people have been incarcerated. Uh, she's uh, finding some more background information on that. She's working with someone who works in the criminal justice system, uh, and she's going to find concrete information to make sure that she's giving you concrete information for those who may have been incarcerated, but they are now out and, 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 and they've done their time. Um, she'll tell you on Wednesday night how that works. It's important, people. We have got to start educating ourselves. We have got to start getting more involved. And, and then Commissioner Holmes, once he gets his information to me, uh, his assistant, uh, Michelle will be getting that information with me. I'm going to me. I am Michelle Watson. I'm going to post it on my Facebook page. And so you're going to know more about what he's going to come on and share. Okay. I just wanted to come on this morning to let you all know there's some wonderful things going on. Right in our own county, people are doing things. People are doing things, but we're not paying attention to those people who are trying to make a difference. But guess what? We can all do something. All of us. So today at three o'clock, I'm going to be interviewing my daughter and my niece about their pop up. On Monday, I'm going to February 9th, I'm going to be interviewing Reverend. <clears throat> William H. King III, because he's running for Galveston County Judge. On Wednesday, February 9th, I will be interviewing Maxine Jones, who has been a Galveston County election official for 30 years and plus. So she's going to be on, on Wednesday, next Wednesday, the following Wednesday, February 16th. I will be sitting out interviewing Commissioner Holmes. Please, please tune in to my YouTube channel. This podcast, these people are going to be showing, sharing a wealth of information. I sure hope that you can join us. And not only you, tell someone else. Tell someone else. 
What's going to be happening? We've got some wonderful things happen, happening. And like I said, I always reference Joe Madison. And I reference uh, Tom Hartman on Sirius XM 127 and Michael Signorelli on channel 127. Um, and, and this is what they're telling people. Karen Hanna on 126. Come on, people. Let's get involved. Let's start listening to things to educate ourselves. That's gonna, you know what I think about, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna get off. My main concern now, I got more time behind me than I got in front of me. I want to make sure that when I close my eyes, my grandchildren, my grandchildren are gonna be okay, and they can say one thing about my grandmother: she fought for us. She fought for us. My nieces. My nephews, I want to make sure that they're going to be okay. That's why I am like I am about voting and watching these news channels that's putting out information that you don't have to just take everything at face value. You go research that stuff. Stop getting mad at the media. Hear what they have to say, then go re research it for your own facts. Because people can go out there and say something about you that's totally opposite of who you really are. But guess what? Somebody going to believe it. We around here hating people that we don't even know. I see people get on Facebook and say the most horrible things about people that they don't even know. And you just saying it because somebody else said it. And the person that said it, you like. But what if that person is saying the wrong thing? Defaming that person's character. They don't know that person. They just saying it because somebody they like don't like that person. And that's a that's a huge issue. It really is. It works on every level in life. But it don't benefit nobody. But everybody, as Joe Madison would say, everybody can do something. Tom Hartman. He often says, tag, you're it. Michael Signorelli say, don't drink the Kool-Aid. Karen Hunter, educate yourself. Because she's a professor. Listen to something that's going to enhance this here. And keep you growing for the people of our future. Because the question will be asked one day, what did you do? Because I'm going to tell you something. People talking about I'm not going to vote. I'm not going to vote. Well, then guess what? If you're not going to vote, then you're telling people to speak for you. Because I can't speak for myself. And you got the right to vote and you won't vote. So every time that you sit it out, you are saying... Look, I don't have a voice. Y'all take my voice and make my decision for me. That's what you're saying. So, just wanted to come on this morning and let you know of these upcoming live interviews. And I pray that you can tune in uh, to Electra James Inspirational Talks. Today at 3, 3 o'clock, every other interview will be from 6.30 to 7 30, the ones on Wednesday, I mean Monday, this Monday and Wednesday, and then next Wednesday. With Reverend King, uh, Maxine Jones, and Commissioner Holmes. Okay? So you guys, y'all have a wonderful day. But today at 3 o'clock, I'm going to be interviewing my daughter and my niece. Uh, so they can share with you guys the pop-up that's going to be coming on, to, uh, that's going to be happening on next Saturday. Okay? All right. Y'all have a wonderful day and take care of yourself. Oh, before I get off, I need to let you all know I have to start building on my business channel. So I'm going to start, if you would follow me over to that channel, I'm going to start doing some lives on that channel because they send me a message that I need to start, need to put more, uh, do more views on interviews on that channel, which means like going on and things that I do, my morning talks, things like that. I have to start doing more things on that channel to build that channel. That's my business channel. 
It's Electra James Inspirational Talks. So if you don't see me on this side, I'll be interviewing on that on that channel, okay? Because that's my business channel. And that's the channel where people follow me from that channel, okay? And, uh, you know, Facebook Watch has, 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 has notified me that that's something that I have to start doing to, you know, get my material out there where more people can, more audience can see. All right. Y'all have a wonderful Saturday. Take care of yourself. All right. Bye-bye.